Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Terraform Bootcamp or Terraform for Beginners. In today's video, we're going to talk about variables. So these are the building blocks of the Terraform scripts that we're going to write. We're going to create the infrastructure using these variables. So there are a few things that we're going to study today. But before moving further in this video, I would like to request that kindly subscribe the channel because that would really support me to grow. All right. So let us understand what do we have for today. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about variable in variables is numbers. The second thing we're going to talk about is strings. The third thing we're going to talk about Boolean values. Then we're going to talk about the list. Then we're going to talk about the map and then we'll do a demo or an example. All right. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let us dive right into the demo part. Okay, let us quickly walk through three ways of configuring and declaring variables in Terraform. So the first one is input variables. The second one is environment variables. The third one is personal organization or environment variables. So there are other few things that is important uh, in order to understand variables. You're going to find these things uh, a lot in the in, in the in the videos. So terminologies regarding that. All right. So uh, the first one would be you can uh, you can always call it a variable variable block okay this is very important because uh, a lot of people can ask what exactly is a variable block so uh, you're gonna find a few things in that uh, first is a type so this is something known as uh, for optional optional means if you do not write it it's okay terraform is still gonna work your code is still gonna work but uh, what exactly it, it is it if set if uh, this defines a type of variable valid values are string list and map so it defines the type what type of value it is so define the type basically so uh, this can be uh, your uh, string uh, string type this can be we're gonna uh, learn more about string in in, in the upcoming video uh, and then the other one could be list and the other one could be map okay so basically it defines a type it's optional it's not 100% uh, necessary to enter that okay the second would be a uh, default. So you're going to see a lot of this in the code. It is also optional. Uh, it's not mandatory. So in this, uh, this will set a default value for the variable. So sets default value for the variable. Now, what is that supposed to mean? If uh, basically if no default is provided, Terraform will raise an error if a value is not provided by the caller. So basically, if you are entering this keyword inside a variable block, variable blocks looks like this. And inside that, if there is nothing uh, in front of default, if you write default and there is nothing in front of it, then uh, it can throw an error, but you have to provide a value uh, if the caller is not providing any sort of value, this value would be picked for this resource. Okay. If it is confusing right now, uh, we'll see that when we when we'll work on this. Okay. Let's move on to the third one. So third one is the description. So description is again, this is also optional. This is also optional. So uh, basically any description of the variable that is human friendly or understandable uh, by the user who is using is this is primarily for the documentation. So uh, any any description that describes uh, the type and the default or the resource type. So any description basically uh, human friendly human friendly text. Okay. So uh, basically used mostly for documentation. Let me scroll this up a bit. So mostly used for documentation. Okay. These are the things. Okay. So I hope you folks have understood this. Also, let me explain in simple terms, like what exactly what we have in type. So uh, in type, we have uh, simple and complex ones. Uh, the first one would be in simple string number would be again in simple and Boolean would be in simple one. In the complex, we have list, set, map, tuple or tuple and object. So do not worry about both of these tuple and object. We're going to talk about that. And then we have a validation condition as well. In this, we either need true or false. It's an expression that uses the value of variable to return either true if the value is valid or false if the value is invalid. Okay. 
second thing is error underscore message it is uh, used basically for producing uh, a validation error it's basically a sentence so a sentence that error form will include when it produces a validation error so these are the very basic things you need to understand before moving on to the demo part so let's do that okay so let us understand the variables first so the first one we're going to talk about is number so i've already created one folder over here understanding hyphen variables inside i have five files these files won't work as of now but this is just to show you as an example okay we are not going to take vpc's example because um, that would i would do for the for the demo part uh, later in the videos but right now i'll just show you the example okay so when we talk about number this is the one so uh, we are introducing variable instance count inside that the type is number so type we were talking about a few minutes back and then default values i'm giving over here is two so if i'm not going to provide any value uh, it is going to take this two value the provider is aws the region is us east two and then we are going to create a resource over here the resource type is aws instance and i have given the name my instances instance type is t2 micro ami is ami that starts with ami and some random number i do not have the exact number with me right now but you can put the exact number over here for the uh, machine image and then count so this comes from var and it's automatically going to make a call over here and then look for instance count so as soon as it takes uh, care of this variable instance count the value will be coming as two let me show you quickly if i remove that and type it how the intelligence works so you can see that variable var instance count is there and if i hit enter it's going to pick that so that's how you define a variable which is a number okay i hope this is clear to you but if you want to override this uh, override this value you have to use a hyphen var flag so basically the command will change it'll be something like terraform apply hyphen var instance underscore count equal to three so this value would be overridden at the time okay so this is uh, you not do not have to do it right now let us jump to string okay so this is the string again the same thing the uh, instance name uh, that's what we are going to take and uh, type is string uh, that's what we decided right and the default is my instances it's going to pick this value if anything is not given the provider is exactly the same no change in this block resource aws instance my string instance is the name that i'm giving instance type is t2 micro you can take anything this is just for an example ami ami starts with ami and some random no number this is not the exact machine image uh, you can take it from aws service okay and then tags so we uh, use tags right uh, in the uh, whenever we create some type of resource for that we're using a name it has to come like this and var dot instance name and this instance name is coming from here if i remove this and again type var it's going to take instance and this is going to populate this is how intelligence work and that's a very basic idea again if you have to override this you have to write write terraform apply hyphen var instance name my other instance or your instance or any other random name okay so this is how string will work for you all right so i hope you have understood this part let us uh, understand uh i think uh, yeah let's go to boolean okay so boolean is uh, very simple uh, you just have to give a value or uh, type like this uh, you have to create a variable uh, give it a name and the description if true ec2 instance will be created else it would be not and then uh, you give a type value you are, have to write a lot of code over here in order to check whether the condition is yes or the condition is no but right now i'm not doing that because that is uh, that will take a separate video altogether we're going to use that in the course uh, in the further videos okay so that is an example of it okay let us understand list now so let's go to list so in, inside list what exactly is happening over here we have defined a variable over here which is a uh, SGP, which means security group. Uh, that's what I've given it. You can give a full name. The type is list and string. So we are creating a list inside that we are taking values string. Default is default, the default one. Same thing, provider AWS region, you can give anything. Resource is AWS instance. Uh, the name is my instance. AMI, same value. Instance type is T2 micro. VPC security group ID is var.sgp. Now this is going to be used somewhere else in the code this is a very basic example uh, that that i have written because you have to define it over somewhere and you you have to use it we're going to see that 
and this value comes from from HTTP from here okay so how many security group has to be created will come from here okay so that's how it is done all right again it can be overridden if you give a value uh, if you give a command at the uh, at the command prompt or the console is terraform apply hyphen var security groups inside the bracket default web security group uh, the internal security group or external security group or anything like that all right so this is a very basic example of it i hope you have understood it and the last one would be map okay so this is the one again the same thing a uh, variable you have to define like this by the time by this time you have got hold of it i i suppose inside that type is map the string value and then you have to give it this way the map has all has to come this way default name equal to my instance provider is again the same resources aws instance my instance ami exactly same instance type same tags v a r v m tags okay it is going to take a value from here and that's how it works guys okay again it can be overwritten so what exactly is a map so map are a collection of string keys and string values uh, basically key and values this can be useful for selecting values based on predefined parameters such as server configuration uh, by monthly price uh, yearly price quarterly price so uh, that's uh, what it is uh, done this is a very basic example uh, i mean things tend to uh, be added over here or ha could be removed over here okay so this is how how it works basically okay so folks uh, i hope you have un understood this part uh, if there is anything uh, feel free to comment below we will uh, address that i'm going to answer all the questions if you have any doubts over here all right so i'll see you in the next one